Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add Firefox and Google Chrome web browser in Notepad++ on Windows 10, okay? So if I open my Notepad++, you can see that I have this hello.html file opened, okay? And suppose if I want to run this in Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, I need to click on this run. You can see that I don't have any you know, web browser over here, okay? So let's add Mozilla Firefox first over here, okay? So for this, uh, you have to click on this run, click on this run again, okay? And here we have this window. Uh, click on this three dots, okay? And after that, go to this PC and go to your C drive, okay? And you can see, guys, I have this program files and program files x86, okay? So I have Windows 10 64 bit, so I need to go over here, this program files. So if you have Windows 10 32 bit, uh, just open this program files x86. So let me open this program files. And after that, guys, you have to find the Mozilla Firefox folder. So here I have my Mozilla Firefox folder. So just open this and you need to find this firefox.exe, uh, this file. And after that, click on this to select it. Click on this open button. And you can see that here we have this path added over here, okay? And after that, guys, you have to click over here and you need to go to the end of this, you know, path, give a space. And after that, guys, you have to uh, put this string at the end of that path. And guys, this string in the video description, you can check it out. So let me copy this string. Let me open Notepad++. Uh, let me go to the end of this file okay uh, let me give it a space and after that just paste that over here okay that is string you can see it's pasted and after that guys you need to click on this save button and just give it a name i'm giving firefox and guys you can also create keyboard shortcut for this so let me click on this Control alt and let me select this uh, 6 and guys I also want to show you one more thing so let me select B you can see that I have this conflict found okay so make sure you don't have this conflict found so let me select this Z okay you can see there is no conflict found over here okay so control alt Z uh, is my keyboard shortcut for this Firefox okay and after that guys you need to uh, click on this OK button and you can see it's now done and after that guys you can click on this run or you can also click on this cancel so if I click on this cancel and if I go to this run tab and you can see that here we have this Firefox added so if I click on this Firefox you can see that I have this output hello world okay so you can see over here we have this hello world in this body tag okay so it's now done and also guys we created you know shortcut for this firefox Control alt z okay so let me press Control alt z you can see that it's working okay so let me close this okay guys and also guys suppose if you want to modify this so you need to click on this run and then click on this modify shortcut or delete command and you can see that here we have this firefox okay and you can delete that modify it okay so let me close this okay so if i close my notepad plus plus and again open it notepad plus plus so here i have my notepad plus plus if i click on it to open it and if I click on this run, you can see here we have the Firefox, okay? So it's working fine. So Firefox is done. Let's add Google Chrome, okay? So again, you need to click on this run tab and then click on this run again, okay? And here we have this window opened. Uh, you need to click on this three dots. And after that, you need to go to this PC, okay? And after that, uh, just open your C drive. And guys, you need to go to this program files x86, uh, whether you have Windows 10 64 bit or 32 bit. So you need to go to this folder program files x86. So just open this, uh, open the Google folder over here. And after that, open this Chrome folder. 
and here we have the application open this folder and here we have the chrome.exe click on it to select it after that click on this open button okay and again you need to copy this you know path and go over here click on it and go at the end of this path uh, give a space and then paste uh, that string over here you can see it's pasted and after that click on this save button and give it a name so I am giving Google Chrome okay and if you want to create keyboard shortcut for this you can do that so let me click on this control alt uh, let me select uh, uh, this time Y you can see we don't have the conflict found and after that click on this OK button okay and you can just click on this cancel button and if I go to this run you can see here we have this Google Chrome added okay so if I click on this Google Chrome you can see here we have this a file opened in Google Chrome web browser and you can see the output okay so it's working fine guys and again if you want to modify this you need to click on this run click on this modify shortcut or delete command and you can modify this okay uh, by clicking on this modify button if I click on this modify button you can see we can modify this okay and also you can delete that by clicking on this delete button just like this and then click on this delete button and it will be deleted okay but I don't want to do that so let me click on this close button okay so guys it's done in this way you can easily add Firefox and Google Chrome web browser in notepad plus plus on Windows 10 so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye